Today we're going to talk about the different excipients in a tablet mix. Knowing how excipients work is really important when making a tablet mix. It will help you understand how to overcome potential issues when making your mix, such as helping it flow through your press or helping your tablets bind together. Here's the most common excipients used in tablet mixes. Dicalcium phosphate, a commonly used filler. This ingredient ensures your tablets have a uniform content and increases compressing capabilities that will assist with a mix that needs extra help flowing. Dical shouldn't be used with any acidic actives. The dicalcium phosphate LFA cells is known as a directly compressible version, which is suitable for tableting. Magnesium stearate. Magnesium stearate is what we call a dry lubricant, a white water insoluble powder that reduces the friction at the point of contact between your tablet's surface and the dye wall during production reducing any damage to your new tablets. It will prevent your formula from sticking to the machine. When a tablet is compressed, the powder is pushed out to the dye wall, which causes the tablet to get stuck inside. Magnesium stearate will coat the granules inside your mix and assist your tablet being pushed out easier, which is good for your tablets, your machine, and your tooling. Lactose can be a really good binder due to its granule size and flowability. The reason not everyone will use lactose, firstly because of an issue known as fines, Secondly, because of lactose intolerance, which you may not want to deal with in your product, so may not be suitable for many supplements or health-based products. Microcrystalline cellulose, or MCC. This is your tablet's binder. As well as being an excellent binder, it's insoluble and acts as a disintegrant, so it will release the tablet's actives on contact with moisture. MCC is a naturally occurring polymer that's a great additive in pharmaceutical, food, cosmetic, and other industries. If your product is having a hard time sticking together, say if it's crystalline, if it's a product that falls apart easily, then you'll want to add some MCC. Silicon dioxide, it acts as a glidant, which will improve flow qualities, but still promotes quick tableting. Silicon dioxide is an inert ingredient. This means it won't react with any other ingredients you're using or substances in the body. It makes both manufacturing and digestion easier. This ingredient will also reduce trace quantities of moisture, which can damage your machines over time. All of these excipients can be found at our website at www.lfatabletpresses.com, where you'll also find Firmapress, our all-in-one tablet ready mix. We're constantly developing our videos section, so if you feel you have an issue, please get in contact.